hello everyone welcome to the section 5 where we will study histograms and i'll be showing you the usage of histograms on the image data so what is a histogram it is a bar graph like representation of data that buckets a range of outcomes into columns along the x axis so along the x axis you will have buckets of data and these buckets you can decide uh, you know how many buckets you want what is the range of those buckets and the y axis it represents the number of count or the percentage of occurrence in the data for each column and it can be used to visualize data distributions let's take an example it will become very easy with an example so let's import our libraries and let's suppose you have a data like this 10 20 30 40 40 25 35 and 30 this is your data range so x axis is your bucket and the y axis is the frequency so this data it is split into buckets by default by default there are 10 buckets when you do a plt dot hist 10 buckets or bins are created then you can decide how many buckets you want suppose you want the buckets just four buckets from 10 to 20 20 to 30 30 to 40 just three buckets so in that case the way the data is included in the bucket is the square bracket is inclusive so it starts from 10 up to 20 the uh, the round bracket is up to then start from 20 up to 30 and start from and in the last bucket both are inclusive so this is inclusive this is up to and then the last bucket is both inclusive so 30 and 40 given this information how many items will we have in the first bucket so in this particular example you have a data 10 20 so it's you 10 is inclusive and up to 20 so the items in the first bucket is just going to be one how many items in the second bucket so from 20 to 30 up to 30 so one and two 20 and 25 two and how many in the third bucket from 30 to 40 both inclusive so one two three four and five so this is how your data should be plotted if you if you give the bins by yourself so the function to call the histogram is plt.hist and you would pass the data and you would specify your bins okay the bins are the buckets you're going to specify your bins so how many bins we want we want three bins so the three bins is divided by 10 to 20 20 to 30 and 30 to 40 and this is the frequency here there is item one this is the frequency on the y-axis one from 20 to 30 you have two items and from 30 to 40 you have five items okay so this is what a histogram is it is a very important tool which can be used for some so, you know small projects and even for some of the complex projects this could be one of the input that goes into your uh, decision making you can also showcase multiple histograms on the same plot so if you have data one which was this let's take this as a data one okay the first series and the second series the way you can mention here is within a a list you can give your first series and the second series 
what are the bins here bins will be common across these two data so my first bin starts from then instead of giving four uh, three bins i am actually mentioning where to where this bin should start and where it should stop and you can give color for each of your data series and you can label the data so this will give you these two across this two uh, series your histogram in the same figure okay so what we are going to see is two images one image is uh, two x rays okay chest x rays this is the normal chest x ray of a person and the second image would be a problematic uh, chest x ray of a person now in fact when you do this kind of uh, image processing the important thing for you to notice this x rays should be from starting and ending from the same point so if it is starting like this it should start at the same point and end at the same point the area that is covered basically the area that is covered within the x-ray should be same for the normal x-ray as well as for the uh, uh, issue the, where there is an issue in the x-ray okay so that it makes so when you do an image processing you are not come you are comparing apple to apple okay so that is important in this case suppose this x-rays had were of the uh, currently we see the hands here are up here the hands are down but for now we are assuming you got to you got multiple x-rays which are of uh, same size and at the same position so what we are going to do is in the code we are going to import these two data files and since this is black and white the data that we are going to uh, so you know in an image the data is from the pixels is from 0 to 255 okay the values of the pixels are from 0 to 255 the library that we are going to use to import image data is sk image and i'm going to import this data okay the normal and the problematic data just let me get my path correct So my files are in this particular folder image histogram data i'll be sharing these files with you so that you also have the same files and we are importing your reading the image as a grayscale since this is a grayscale image grayscale is true and you will have a you're keeping it in two variables normal and problematic variable let us see the shape of this this will be arrays so let us print the shape so the normal X-ray shape is 7371055. So it's approximately same, not exactly same, but approximately same shape. So as I mentioned earlier, your shape should be exactly same. Now let's see the values. So this is a, a 2D array from which has the minimum of a zero and maximum of 255. can just check okay okay this particular uh, data is coming in points so what we need to do for normal is so this is uh, this is coming as a uh, it, it's divided by 255 okay so this data particularly so this is between 0 to 1 
so let us modif uh, modify this normal let us multiply it by 255 so that we have both our data at the same scale okay so now both are between 0 to 255 i hope you know that image uh, for a grayscale image in fact uh, for a grayscale image it is a single channel with data values between 0 to 255 for a colored image it is three channels which is the red green and the blue each having values from 0 to 255 so now what do we want to plot is a histogram uh, on the x-axis we are going to have buckets for each of the uh, gray scale that is so let me show you in the bins what we are going to do is we are going to take np dot a range your range starts from 0 goes up to 256 it is an up to so we need 255 included so we are going to say 256 and you can mention the number of buckets that you want okay so suppose this scale you want to divide it in 10 buckets or five buckets it's up to you okay. let's first go with five buckets and then what you can give is you can mention the figure size when you are plotting it is a plt dot figure and then within this you can mention the figure size since this will be a big figure we will mention the figure size 15 comma 5 15 is the 14 comma 5 14 is the width and 5 is the height Now, when we give a PLT dot histogram, it has to be in a single dimension. And since our data points is in two dimension, we are going to flatten the array. To flatten the array, you can use the Ravel command. Right? This is the NumPy Ravel command. So you are flattening the array and you mention these bins. Within the five bins, I want to plot the data points so on the x-axis we have bins on the y-axis you have frequency and we do not want to see all the bins we just want to see the ticks on the x ticks we just want the ticks for this you know the bins that we get and let's give a rotation of 90 So, see you, the step size is 5 here. So, between 0 to 5, the data points, which is in, the partic in that particular image, what is the frequency? So, 0 is what? Black. 255 is white. So, towards the black side, so 128 should be somewhere in the middle. So, towards the black size, uh, back, uh, sorry side you see that some areas are quite dark and then a lot of uh, very less here and so in the normal basically if you try to plot a lot of normal images okay you you will get some histogram which represents that particular disease or like x-ray you're seeing such chest disease or something you have to sit along with your radiologist and your uh, doctor to make the sense out of it Similarly, let us plot how it looks for the problematic image. So it would be a similar bins figures. Only thing now I'm changing the array to problem. And you would see there is a lot of white in the problematic. There is a lot of white space here. And you, you would also notice the frequency of these data points now if this bins become uh, you know like too large then you can change uh, these bins and you can plot the data whatever makes sense please go ahead and do that so here you would see quite a jagged histogram 
it's not like as smooth but as i said it, it along with your radiologist and the uh, doctor you will have to sit and decide how you want to plot this now looking at it separately really doesn't make that much sense so let us plot both of them on the same graph and also let us give some color code etc so for that what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a new variable problem frequency and if you do a numpy dot histogram it returns two things out of which i'm just interested in the in the first i'm just interested in the frequency and not the bins so if you do a numpy dot histogram you would get the frequency and the bins okay i'm just in, interested in the frequency and i'm just giving an underscore so that uh, that variable i'm not interested just given underscore there so you pass your the bins that i'm giving here is from 0 to 52 56 which are step size of 5 and similarly we'll do it for the normal Now we have the frequency and we have the problem frequency and the normal frequency for the problematic x ray and the normal x ray with the same bin size. Now we're going to use this particular uh, data to plot. So let us give a PLT dot figure size. of 12 by 8 and now we are just going to use a plot command okay, if you remember the in the first session we used the plot command to plot the uh, line basically you can pass a single uh, a single dimension array there right so for the pins you start from one go up to the end you are starting from the first position and going up till end So that's the X and we plot the normal frequency. Here you are going to plot the problem frequency. Let us give the colors and the markers, some different colors in the markers. So for the normal, let us give magenta and this let us give red. give some markers uh, also use you know the line styles the marker face color the marker size okay use all those properties so for the normal we are going to use a star marker size 15 here's the marker size for the problematic we are using 10 give them labels and show the legend now let's see so these are the bins and my normal x-ray which is the mav okay it has quite a different frequency value between you know the, so the dark values are quite different even towards the white values are quite different so 
and in this particular range okay the values are too high now since you and i we are from computer background we may not be able to make sense out of this data and hence you will need your uh, scientific colleagues to help you out and the most important point as i'm harping it again but your uh, images should be of the same area otherwise even if you give this bin you know this it, it may actually be of very different image that you are capturing the frequency so please make sure that that is correct okay you can use colored photographs and like for example what people do is if you have some leaves and for the leaves when you want to figure out if the leaves are of normal or is there some problem in the leaf okay that point in time you can check the histogram of each of the channels of the leaf so the red color channel the green color channel the blue channel what is the histogram of each of the uh, leaf each of the channel versus if you have a a problematic leaf then what is the histogram so suppose you have guava leaves here i just have some guava leaves suppose you had this guava leaves which are normal now again as i said you need to take the same photograph for normal as well as for problematic so your leaf if you if you have this kind of a leaf your problematic leaf should also be of a similar kind now generally your guava when it's a normal leaf it would be just a very green in color and if it's a problematic leaf then you would see some patches there of red okay some patches of red would appear or brown patches would appear or if there is a um, white could also appear on the back of the leaf generally if there are some insects white colored insects they would appear on the back of the leaf when you take histogram of such data point of such images then you can find out if something is going wrong with the crop or is the crop normal okay this kind of things also used there so i hope this uh, helps and uh, yeah let i'll see you in the next section